So the last topic is really a section 3.5 topic. We've already started 3.5 when we did the five number summary. But the box plot is a graphical display of that five number summary. So it's the min, Q1, median, Q3, and max all drawn out as well with a box and with whiskers. So it's also called a box and whisker plot because it has little whiskers <laughs> sticking out of it. Box and whisker. All right, so let's look at a box and whisper plot, a box plot, and we'll see what we're talking about. So the min is the lowest mark on the graph. So this is definitely the minimum over here. The Q1, I was gonna say the median, but let's do the Q1. Q1 is the lower mark on the edge of the box. So this value right here is Q1. This middle line in the center line is Q2, which is the median. And then this is Q3. And then the highest mark out there is a max. So your highest mark is a max, your lowest mark is a min. We have something else going on here too, which is the outliers. So we noted in the last video that we had outliers, which were 54 and 56. So you can see they're marked with symbols, most often a little dot or a little star. So this right here is the 54, this right here is the 56, and they're outliers. But that doesn't mean that they don't count, it's just we denote them differently. All right, so let's see. We know each of these sections has 25% because we remember that from before. So this section of the box has 25%, this section of the box has 25%, this whisker has 25%, and what students sometimes think, they think it's this whisker that has 25%, but no, no, it's the whole region from the whisker all the way down to the outliers is the 25%. So don't be fooled just because they're outlier dots. They still count as part of the 25%. Now remember, we've already known these values for this particular problem. So we can say, oh, we already did. This was 54, this was 56. This was 76, this was 88.5, this was, oh no, sorry, this was 88.5, this was 84. I forgot what my median was for a second. So this is 84, and this was 93. Oops, I ran out of space to write it above, so I'll put it below, right? So we already know those values because we already know the, these data. This is the same data set we've been working with. All right, so let's see here. What proportion of the scores lie between 76 and 88.5? 76 is right here, 88.5 is right here. So 25 and 25, which would make 50%. 50% lie from that line to that line. That's the whole point of what a box plot is, is it sections the graph up into four equal 25%. All right, what percentage of scores lie above 76? Okay, 76 is right here, so 75% is above it. Now, we're lucky in this example because we actually know these values. Um, in another example, you might have to kind of eyeball them and just kind of roughly estimate. That's okay. All right, what about the percentage below 88.5? Well, that would also be 75 because 25, 25, and 25 make 75%. And then what about lying between 54 here and 76 here? I should probably ask that one to begin with, but it's 25%. It's the whole thing makes 25%. So then a good question to ask would be, where is this whisker going to, right? So that line on the left, that whisker on the left, where is it heading to? Where does it end? That's what this question is asking. Okay, well, let's go back a page and look at our data. So you remember 54 and 56 were the outliers right here. So these two were outliers. So they got the dots. Oop, there we go. So then where's the whisker going to? The whisker goes right here. It's the next number in the data set that is not an outlier. So these two get dots, then the whisker goes to 60. So this is 60.
it's the lowest number in the data set, that is not an outlier. But you have to pick a number in the data set. You can't just pick a random number. So in this case, it had to be 60 because that's the lowest number that is not an outlier in our data set.